Very good afternoon. This is Dr. Abdul Salam Umar with you. Today we're going to discuss what to do in case our small children, that is infants, when they get choked. We often hear our children they got choked with the balls or toys or pieces of meat or food inside their throat and usually they die just because we don't know a simple technique what to do in case of the choking so today i'm going to explain you how exactly we can save a life of an infant in case of choking to start with choking is of two types one is partial choking another is a complete choking if some some particle stuck in in the throat which is not completely obstructing your airway we call it partial choking so in this time patient will be <coughs> coughing or crying the baby this time two mistake we usually do which can even kill the baby is one we often go and do hit on the head where the choking particle when you do this it completely goes and obstructs the baby's throat Another one we do is we go and pat the back which will again do the same job like when you do the the choking particle will completely go in and it will completely make the obsession. So we should not do this too. Instead what we, we should encourage the baby, let the baby cry, let the baby cough. It will automatically come out. What when we have to intervene is when baby goes on complete choking. Baby not crying, baby not coughing, simply making kind of a parent you should understand that the situation is now critical the baby is completely obstruction if we don't intervene in few five to ten minutes the baby's life could be lost so what we have to do is the technique is very easy you take the baby in your hand like this and hold the baby completely and sit somewhere hold the baby a little bit down and you do five bad taps one two three four five when you tap it the choking object will come down. If it didn't come down, do like this and do five chest thrusts. One, two, three, four, five. You look at the mouth. If it is there, remove. Otherwise, you do it again. One, two, three, four, five. Continue. One, two, three, four, five. Again, continue. One, two, three, four, five. You continue this act until either the object comes out or baby goes completely unconscious. When baby goes unconscious, you have to start cardiopulmonary resuscitation, that is CPR. How to do it is very, very easy. Put your baby on a flat, firm surface, either on the floor or on a table. And you put your hand between the nipple in the middle, two fingers, and you start compressing the baby. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nine, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Then you give two breaths, covering baby's mouth and nose together. Before you give breath, just look at the mouth. If any object is available, just take it out. Then give two breaths. Remember one point, before you start CPR or you find your baby is choking, you call the ambulance, nearest ambulance number, and until that they come, this is the time you have to do these interventions. So first call, then you act. Then again do the compressions. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Give two breaths, you look at the mouth, if you object you see, you remove it, otherwise continue the breathing. Again, continue the compression. So you do 30 compressions, two breaths, 30 compressions, two breaths, until that you get the object out and baby become uh, awake, or the ambulance comes and they take the baby out. So this is the technique for infant choking. This is a very common incident in our home. This is some, a skill which every one of us should learn and act. The simple technique can save the life of a baby. All right, thank you so much. If you like the video, please share. Thank you so much.